Here's another quick Form 7 video for you guys. Um, you see here on the left just a simple form. Uh, again, it's just using HTML and and uh, you can see if I type in information here and let's put a little, let's create an entry here and we save it. We can see that it actually gets created right here on the right side. Here's the entry. Uh, where we have the email being promoted to the title field and then we have all the form data as you can see it's stored in this one form 7 data now what's pretty cool um, is if you try to report on this data like let's say you have an infopath form with a bunch of fields in it and you want to report on those fields in infopath you have to somehow extract all those fields maybe promote them all to a SharePoint list or move them to a separate database or something before you can actually report on the data well, with Form 7, because of the way I'm storing the data, you can report on it with any number of options. And to show you that, here I have uh, this Form 7 data being reported on using the uh, data tables jQuery library. So now you can see I've got the name, the email, the age, and the message all in a little report. So we can sort it here if we want to. Look, there's one we just entered for Ted. You can sort it by age if you want. You even have the option of showing I want to see 25 so you can see all of them at once um, and it's got this nice search feature so I can say I want to find Mark I can just start typing Mark and it filters that list to only show the entry that matches Mark so you can do reporting on the data from your form 7 forms without having to do a lot of extra work you can just take that data as is and throw it into some libraries just thought I'd show that to you real quick um, as I work on more documentation for form 7 thanks a lot